because I, I'm, I, I've the hook someone right behind the curtain with a hook, I'm going to start my formal remarks in just a moment. But before I begin my formal remarks, I have a question. It was 16 years ago when uh, Jim and Arnold <laughs> asked uh, me and Jen if we would design and, and oversee a strongman competition for the Arnold, what's now the Arnold Sports Festival. We said yes, we would. And so here we are 16 years later. Uh, but the question is this. Uh, I look, I have enough bodybuilder in me that I do look at myself in the mirror from time to time. When I do, I look older than I did 16 years ago. However, when I look at the two men who invited me, this would be Jim and Arnold, they don't really seem to me to have changed. If anything, they might even look a bit younger. So, as my students back at the University of Texas might say, What's up with that, you know? So it's, it ain't right, is what my friend Mark Henry would say. It ain't right. So while I still have on this professor's hat, I'd like to share a few. This is in, in Jim's honor, a few lines from his favorite writer. And I'll bet a lot of people in here know who that is, right? It is his favorite writer. Shakespeare, exactly, William Shakespeare. <clears throat> he, as long as I have known Jim, uh, well, actually a lot longer than the 16 years, I've been aware of that. I know he goes in, to that festival uh, in Canada every year. And so I wanted to acknowledge a few lines about one of the subjects that's under discussion tonight. Uh, first, I want to denounce as strenuously as I can, the people who say, and there are many who say this, that the reason that Jim likes William Shakespeare so much is because they were classmates. <laughs> classmates. <laughs> That's just not accurate. I can uh, cite chapter and verse if I have to. Uh, Shakespeare was born uh, in a uh, town called Stratford-upon-Avon. Jim, as Bob told you a minute ago, was born in New Jersey. So they were not classmates. Uh, I don't want to say too much more about that. But I do want to, as I said, share just a few lines of what the Bard of Avon had to say about aging. This first is from Macbeth. Uh, With mirth and laughter, let old age come from as you like it. Though I look old, I am strong and lusty. Lusty, lusty. From Macbeth, there are things which should accompany old age. Honor, love, and friends. Finally, I'd like to read part of an email I just received from Alton Eliason, a longtime Iron Gamer and an admirer of Jim Lorimer. Alton is a longtime uh, weight trainer, physical culturist, uh, and he is now, and was when he wrote this email to me a few, few days ago, he is in his 100th year. His wife, Madge, is 101. In just a few months, they're going to celebrate their 80th wedding anniversary. Now, this is a man with some experience in the world. They actually live, uh, still take care of their house, a small organic farm up in Connecticut. And so he heard about this party, Alton did, and he sent me an email, which he wrote himself. He writes lots of emails. He said about Jim, it always makes me happy to see youngsters do well. 
<clears throat> I've had my eye on Jim since he was a boy. And I believe that he's got what it takes to be successful. <laughs> and I've got my eye on that Austrian kid, too. So is that under the time limit? Did I make it? Thank you.